What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new lavalier mic set from Sennheiser. Now this is their AVX system. I've been wanting to get my grubby little paws on this for a very long time so I've been really excited for mine to arrive and today is that day. So we will just do a little bit of the unboxing and then we'll get in and we'll compare it to the old G3 112 which is still a fantastic mic set but this is just on the next level when it comes to syncing, charging, and everything. So we'll get into that. Here you can see it comes with the ME2 microphone, and this microphone is the same that comes with the 112 set, so I'm very comfortable with this microphone. I love the way it sounds, and we'll be doing great audio with it. Here is the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack that you will need to connect it straight into something like the GH4, which I use personally. Here you have a Sennheiser branded USB wall wart because that is one of the greatest features about this system is the transmitter and receiver are both rechargeable. Here you can see the uh, receiver, very small, very compact. It really reminds me of like a, a fat USB drive, obviously with an XLR port off to the side. We have a microphone windscreen right here. And then here you have your cold shoe mount. And this actually, the way it is right there, it has a belt clip that can attach to it. You remove that and then you actually have your cold shoe mount. Here you just have your instructions, your quick start guide, and your handling instructions are all inside there. And then here we have the transmitter, which is what your microphone will connect to and what will be on the person uh, that is actually speaking. Also comes with this handy dandy case and then a micro USB cable for charging the transmitter and receiver. So taking a look at the transmitter, it is very lightweight, very small and compact. There's plastic, there's metal, but the feel of it overall is fantastic. Now this comes with a 2030 milliamp battery that says it can get about 15 hours. On the screen, it shows on the battery actually your time remaining, not just bars. So it'll say 15 hours fully charged, 14 hours, and so on and so on. It also says AVX 5150 at the top of the screen, and then it has your uh, signal bar. You can see there's some connections on the bottom. I believe that they told me there is a charging dock that you can get. So if you have multiple ones of these, you can charge them all at the same time. Also on the top you have a red and green LED light that shows that you're connected or not connected and a mute slider switch. Along the side you have a pair button and a power button which I haven't had to use the pair button because as you'll see later on as soon as you power it up then they will automatically connect. And on the receiver you have the check button, a pair button, and then your AV out. And that's your level. You get four different LED lights for your levels. I keep mine down on one, so there you go. And then the receiver has a 420 milliamp battery that is rechargeable also via micro USB. And here you can see, like I said, all I did was turn them on and it automatically pairs. And here is the cold shoe mount. Like I said, it just slides right on. Uh, it's snug fit, it has some rubber inserts there to keep it very tight and very snug. And then it's also rotatable, and I'll show you that again later on when I put it on a few devices. So this is how it would be if you wanted to plug directly into XLR, but if you wanted to connect to the GH4 like I may do on some of my videos, this is what your setup would look like there with the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. Then the ME2 microphone. The difference between this microphone and the other one that I can see externally, uh, one of the first things that pop out to me is the clip here is completely different. The version on the 112 is as a metal and it has a clipping system where you press it in like spring loaded and slide the microphone in it. Then again it has the screw in locking feature for the microphone which is fantastic. So let's get it hooked up to my external Tascam recorder and this is what it would look like if I was going to record straight to the Tascam as an external audio source. That would just plug in. I could flip it down, flip it around, however I would like to, to have it set up. Pretty much goes all the way in one direction to a stop and then the other direction to a stop. It doesn't rotate 360 degrees. Now I'll take my GH4 here and I have the cold shoe. 
You can put it any direction that makes you feel comfortable. This looks extremely slimline to me, so I really, really enjoy the look of this on the GH4. All right, so let's get into comparing the G3112 set to this new AVX system. So here you can see the two clamps. The new one is metal with this plastic clip on the front. The other one is metal, has this metal spring type mechanism. You can actually see that it looks like the, I don't know if the internal capsule, but the external body and the tip actually look larger on the new AVX system. So they are both called ME2 microphones, so I don't imagine any of the internals are different. Now here you can see a huge difference between the actual transmitter of the AVX and the G3112. One, you can see the antenna obviously is less intrusive on the new one. You can see it's a lot slimmer. It's definitely smaller overall. And then of course the biggest difference between them, I believe, <laughs> is you don't have all of the adjustments that is needed on the older version. Um, it gives you a bunch of options when you open it up. You have power on and off, you have set, you have the menu up and down, but the biggest thing here is no longer do you need AA batteries, you have rechargeable batteries. And then this is probably the biggest difference between um, comparing is the receiver. You can see how small and slimline the other one is and a lot of that is because you don't need AA batteries anymore but just look at the overall size. Now this is the exact setup. This is the G3112 in my right hand showing how you would hook up to XLR and the other one you don't even need an extension it has the XLR on it. And this is your setup if you want to plug directly into a camera such as the GH4 and that's it. I mean it's just the footprint overall just makes things a lot easier whether you're traveling with it or just your overall setup for a shoot but that's gonna be about it guys I wanted to give you an unboxing and a comparison with the new Sennheiser AVX lavalier microphone system let me know if what you guys think in the comments down below is this something you would use in your video production do you know somebody that would love to use this because it is a fantastic product the audio sample for you guys is coming right now and it has been going throughout the whole video I've been recording with the new AVX system lavalier set going straight into my task cam to do this voiceover so let me know down below what you guys think of the audio quality so that's gonna be about it. If you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, make sure you smack that subscribe button down below and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.